Okay, uh, well, it's gonna be used for the logger, which is gonna log messages in a Discord channel on a, using a webhook. And it's gonna, okay. okay, it's gonna log like transactions and stuff in case the backend service breaks, we know something's broken. Um, yep. The front end, so when a transaction starts, uh -huh. so someone, someone presses the button, it sends a request to the backend, which gives them back a transaction token. Mm -hmm. After it validates it, so that, and that transaction token is basically just a, a unique ID of the transaction. Yeah. Then using that transaction token, the front end can now make logger requests. In case the back end completely dies or something, the front end can make logger requests. And once the Twitch uh, part is done, so once they actually pay, uh, then it's going to say that they have paid for that and it's going to make a bunch of logger requests and once the backend fulfills the transaction so once the redeem actually happens it invalidates that transaction token so uh it cannot the front end can, can't log anymore that's the process so the way we secure the send point is you cannot just send a request you have to do it from the extension and yes that can be forged but if they do that we just get their id because they have to be authenticated we just get their ID and ban them from the extension. What is the point of this, though? Um, the point of this is that is there to ensure that we have proper logs. I mean, uh, as far as I understand it, EBS yeah. can do all the logging because no transaction is ever going to go through if EBS is down. There are certain race conditions that can occur. Uh... If, if the EBS goes down while, another tra like, while someone else make it, makes a transaction, Right. And the main idea is that because we cannot like we cannot cancel or intercept uh yeah. transactions from uh like in Twitch, we have to pro process them first in the EBS and then it's all up to the front end in Twitch. But so in both in both cases yeah. um where you have a logger and you don't and that race condition occurs where the transaction like is incomplete but the user's paid or whatever. Um it doesn't matter if EBS or Logger is doing the logging. No, you'd still yes. have yes, good logs. If, if the EBS goes down, if the EBS crashes, then we don't don't have any logs, and we don't. Why would have... you not have any logs? E because EBS can just. Yeah, but if it's crashed, like if it's down when it's supposed yeah. to be receiving that, then that's a problem. Because we. What race condition leads to this? That sounds. Scary. EBS EBS crashes, for example. Yeah. For yeah. whatever reason. Yeah. It shouldn't. It should never happen. It should never. Yeah, yeah, it no, never, happen. never happen. EBS crashes for whatever reason. So someone sends. Um, let's say someone picks a redeem and they click on buy. That uh -huh. sends a request to the EBS, which parses the card, makes sure it's, it's okay, and sends back a transaction token. Now yeah. they realize they don't have any Twitch bits, so they have to go and steal their parents' credit card to buy Twitch bits, which can take yeah. you know five minutes, ten minutes. Uh -huh. If the extension backend crashes within these five minutes and ten minutes, and yeah. it's still down the moment they enter their mom's credit card details and buy the bits and send the bits, there's going to be absolutely no way for us to know that... Does, does that the transaction not go through EBS, though? Like, when they try to spend those 300 bits or whatever it is, no. does that not have to go through EBS? No. No, that goes through Twitch, and Twitch sends it back to the front end, and then the front end sends it to the EBS. That's oh, a... I see. I thought everything had to go through EBS. No, that's the problem. That's the problem here. Oh, that's mad. Okay, and sure, sure, sure. That's why the log is work, because it allows the front end to send logs. Ah, uh, okay. But obviously someone could just send arbitrary requests yes, into we... the logger and just say, oh, yeah, yes, we... I, I bought 5 million bits. And, and yeah, no, because log, I log the receipt as well, which is a, a, a GWT token signed by Twitch. Like it's all... Oh, okay. It... Are we able to verify the receipts? Yes. Okay, sick. Yes. And I assume, obviously... The only case where it wouldn't go through on EBS as well is when EBS is down. Yes. So someone would have to magically forge it the exact second they DDoS EBS. No, it would not be. They, they would not be able to forge it. Why? Well, what's the receipt? What, what, yeah. Like they, they okay, wouldn't so. be able to see that they paid for something which you actually didn't pay for. Okay, um, so you're saying that this new port will be unsecure by design. <laughs> it's well, sorry, it'll be secure, but I don't need. It's not supposed to be like a private like. Because when you said logger, yeah. I assumed like private endpoint only for. Um... It also has a it, this, the endpoint is also used uh, by the EBS for both the front end and, and the EBS use that. Um, sure. 
But yeah, but, it's, it's a public well, endpoint by design. Okay. But when EBS, why does EBS talk to the logger to send logs? Yeah, to, I mean, if we have a logger, why would we recreate the logger in, in EBS? To yeah, sure, but have... um, okay. Uh, and the idea of having this logger as a separate application is the less code we have, you know, the the less chance. Yeah, I get you. So when EBS sends something to logger, how how is that? There's a, there's a private uh, private token that the EBS and the logger both have in the .env. That you've shown on street screen like 20 times, so I see. Yeah, that I'm going to regenerate. Okay, you better regenerate it. <laughs> I will. Okay. Don't worry about that. All right, I'll do it. Um, okay. What port do you want? 81? 81. Uh, TCP um, accessible by anybody. Okay. All right, let me test. There you go. Let's see if this works. Right, right now I have it set up to um to uh, what you might call it a webhook in a Discord channel, and if there is a problem with a transaction, it will actually ping me. So that's cool. Nice. Confirm. I thought you could make a Discord bot. To be honest, when I was watching no. the stream yesterday, <laughs> no, I was like. Classic. I, I mean, to be fair, right? Think about this. You make a Discord bot, and then the bot creates a different thread for each trans transaction, and it follows the process <laughs> from like, from like, like you know, pre-purchase verification, you know. And then so once necessary. once the transaction is done, it like archives the thread to make room for other threads. Just spamming Discord's pull service. I yeah, right limited. To be fair, right? I don't think many people are just gonna you know click on. A, Go here, type this, click buy, cancel. Oh, it's actually hard to click buy and cancel to spam it because it closes the entire model. Oh. But in theory, someone could just do this and spam the endpoint. Oh yeah, how does that work? So when you press buy, it comes up with you're trying to get 200 bits. Well, well or, first, yeah. when you press buy, it first goes to the EBS. And it yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to read the text, but I'm a bit slow. Um, no, when when you press buy, when you press buy, yeah, the text that comes up, like the Twitch is text. Twitch is text. Oh, it says you are trying to get. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And when you confirm it, it removes that from your balance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I assume we are targeting Monday for this. Uh, Monday, as in the extension being finished? Uh, at least the front end, yeah. Yes, yes. Awesome. In theory, in theory, if we have this finished on Monday morning, that gives five days for review and any back and forth. That That's what I'm saying. And I I think they can do it in five days if I, like, pass them, yeah, respectfully. I, yeah, but if, <laughs> if, if, they, if they decline it, then they have to make changes. And, you know, it's... Yeah, but I don't think they will. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. And that also gives a lot of time to for, for people to program. Uh, to come up with oh, ideas. to come up with the ideas and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not think. Do not think to Safari, please. They know Vel not to do that. They know okay. not to do that. Okay, I assume. Thank you. Okay, okay. Vel is not here for too long. And plus an hour. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Logger doesn't work. Uh, did you? Open uh, it? the IP. Uh, it's open. I don't know if it takes minutes to propagate, but. It's open. Uh, what do you want? It's not a DNS. It doesn't need to propagate. Um, no, I mean internally in the zero. Error connection I... timed out. Do not have a AI port eighty one. Do you have port eighty one open on the? Uh... The, the, the VPS doesn't have a firewall. Oh, you want it on? Oh, right. See, okay, now that's a little different. How is this different? Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Um, was well, you can't you can't do that. What do you mean? Yet. As in like that, that's just not how it works. Why not? It just... It just ain't. Why not? Um... In that case... Um, I'm pretty okay. sure it's just not... Because it, it goes through... It's proxied through Cloudflare. Yeah, I just open it. And I'm... Cloudflare. On Cloudflare's servers. Yeah, I'll just... Oh. Remote into Cloudflare servers and oh, is that what you mean? 
In that um, case... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how that works with them. Okay, 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 solution. Wait, just 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 check that it works on the IP for the Azure server. I'll just check real quick. I don't understand what you mean. The the IP works. Hey, like, port, port 80 works, if that's what you're asking. No, just give me a second, just give me a second. All right. Um, there's also the option to have, like, a separate DNS name and have an engine, Nginx config. Just run, run it through a reverse proxy. You are trespassing Nginx. on private property. You have five seconds to get out or I will call the police. Nice. Um... Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Great. Okay. Wait, what do you mean you can't disable Twitch ads? Yes, you can. No. This annoys me. Every time I want to check your stream, I, I have to They're disabled. I through. literally have them disabled. They're not disabled. So, if you sub, then... <laughs> okay. They are not disabled. They are disabled. Disable gonna, those ads. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. five pence. I don't, I don't care about ads. I, I have them a disabled. I have them ads. disabled. Monetization ads. They're turned off. They're turned off. So shut up. They're off. I don't do ads. That's Twitch doing ads. Hold on, me. hold on, hold on. Yes. Do you, you still have pre rolls on? There, there's no. You, you must have something on. What, what do you what, what? You've got. I mean, you got stream display ads on. I, this, right? I don't know what this is. It wasn't here in the past. Is it like displaying other streams or something? No, that's. I think it's like um banners and stuff. This. Oh yeah, no, no. That's, but that's, that's yeah, that stuff's less yeah banners. That stuff's less disruptive yeah, but I in the pre rolls. Do I don't care about that. Yeah, you can disable it. I I don't know why you stopped the pre rolls. Yeah, but like, um, you cannot disable the pre roll ads for your information. You cannot disable that. I know. I know you wouldn't know this. No, you know, but I, you but I know other streamers that no. whenever I click on their stream, I don't get any fucking ads. No, I just sub to them. Oh yeah, um, yeah, that's a very good point actually. Yeah. People like give two subs to <laughs> Yeah, channel. yeah, that's a fair point. I forgot. It's because I don't manually sub. Okay, yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's on me. Um, okay, right. Let me fix this. Um, Cloudflare proxy can, through different. I can port. set up an nginx uh, reverse proxy on the VPS to route it through a different that's DNS. That's not gonna help. But no, to, to change the DNS, to have it be like Subnautica logger dot that log AI. Oh, that would help. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> But I, I don't yeah, that's, do pro that's probably more professional, yeah, actually. Okay, yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's, like, that, no, it's hard to do. It's like work. It's hard to do, brother. It takes you. you do you not set up an Nginx config? Yes, but I, I have to Google it again. I have to figure it. I have to install all Nginx. Nginx. You might as well do it yourself if you think it's I so mean, easy. Yeah, apt install Nginx. I mean. Like... And then you have to set up the config. And then you have to set up. Oh, we don't have to set yeah, up Yeah, it's SSL, not actually. hard. We don't need SSL, do we? We don't need SSL, no, because it it, it, it'll go through Cloudflare. It makes it a bit easier because you don't have to set up. It's literally box. just server underscore name subnautica dot vettel dot AI or subnautica okay. or logger dot subnautica okay. Okay, dot vettel dot AI. Okay, then do it then. Ah, uh, but I'm looking into how to do it through Cloudflare to be fair. That's easier. That's that's easier because I don't have to do anything. It's there for me. So yeah, please do that. If it's if I can, um, only specific ports work with the proxy. Which Wait, ports? we could. Do you reckon we could do it through port four four three? No, that's no, no. No, we no. could. We could. No, no, that's no. <laughs> I bet that would work though. It's that's not a good idea though. Oh no, it's God. not. But you know for a fact that would work. Use ports other than eighteen four four three. Isn't, isn't port like four four three already like used for creating an HTTPS connection? Or SSL? Uh, in this case, I think it does over port 80. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, when you submit to... Oh, uh... Yeah, like, port 443 is already used by... Yeah, I guess stuff. we're already using 443. Okay, in that case, we're using Nginx. No, wait, what do you mean? You can't just set it up to Cloudflare? Uh, I think through Cloudflare tunnels you can, but I don't oh. know. I, I've never touched that. Oh, that so I, I think that we might just... Uh, that's, that's not sound good. All right. Oh, okay, there is a way I can do it. I can just disable Cloudflare proxies. I don't know what that means. It means instead of... So right now on the DNS for subnautica.metal.ai, it just points to Cloudflare's um, servers and Cloudflare's engine X stuff. Oh, so you're goes, saying oh, wow. just point it here directly? Yeah, we can just put the A record just directly at the Azure server, but... I like the Cloudflare DDoS prevention. I like that as well. You can set up the Nginx thing here and set up the DNS as well and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That means, uh, that means port 80 goes through. 
through to port 80, and port 81 goes to port 81. Oh no, they'll both be 80, right? Just on different... Yeah, tables. well... Uh, yeah. We can't do that, but... Yeah, we can, we can do that, we can do that. I know how to do that. Well, we have to change the internal ports, so like... The internal ports if... are different. But you can like... No, 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 not, not in Docker. Yeah. I'm saying that, because right now, you can't have Docker buy into port 80, because Nginx is going to need port 80. Oh, so we'll have to put... Mean. Yes, 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 yes. And same with 81, but it's fine. Yes. Yeah, I understand. Oh, no, we don't. Actually, 81's fine. 81's um, fine. Only 80. Okay. Uh, what's the fucking IP? Don't say that. Uh, but I you already leaked it, actually. Yeah. What's the fucking... Why are we tie... Why are we... I mean, it's it's linked to the DNS record. Like, what's No, it's not leaked in DNS. It's not leaked in DNS. What do you mean it's not leaked in DNS? Because it goes through Cloudflare. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> So I'm saying, what's the fucking point in, like, having DDoS protection when you've fucking leaked the IP anyways? Well, it's a good thing that this is all Dockerized, because it's easy to set up another... This is staging. This is a staging environment. It's yeah, I can probably I can probably just get Azure to, like, reassign a new IP address yeah. when we uh, yeah. but... when we do it. Mm -hmm. Fuck's sake. Yeah, It's fine. Though. Like you're so worried. Like, what are you gonna leak? What's the worst thing you're gonna leak? Come on. I'm not worried about leaking right now. I'm worried about the fucking IP being DDoS and none of it working. You worry you ever too much. About that? You worry too much. I worry too. That would so happen. It's so easy. Okay. Right. I'm in the server. Um. Let's uh. Let's use Nginx. You ready for this? It's gonna be really hard, okay? Sudo apt install nginx. Wow. Wasn't that hard. Hold on, there's a tiny problem. What's the problem? <laughs> what, what, what's going on? I am sending it to you on Discord. Just, just a tiny problem. Just... <laughs> why, do, why does it do that? Why does it do that? Alex, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> okay. To... It does do that. I, I was aware of that. I can get rid of that. I'm pretty sure it's in the MOTD. Hold yeah. on. I'll, I'll get rid of it right now. Right now. But, um... I don't, I don't really care. I care! <laughs> Gonna kill this fucking guy, bro. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a yeah, good point. Yeah, it's a very fucking point. That's good point, isn't that's it? That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. This fucking guy. That's a good point. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, it's 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 very easy to avoid. <laughs> it was very easy to avoid not leaking the fucking IP of the server in the first place, but whatever. I mean, IP right. like who, who cares about IP addresses? What, what's the worst thing you can do with an IP address? With mine? Yeah. Don't you use a VPN? Um, sometimes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute on stream. I want to ask you something.
Uh, I think I can. All right. But I found the thing to disable this. Okay. All right. There we go. Hopefully, you know what? I'm gonna check right now. Nope. That's uh. <laughs> that did not work. Oh, I gotta probably restart the service. What'd you do? Give me a second. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, that's a good thing. Now, good thing. no, I um, cannot. I cannot guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do, Alex. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay. You gotta mute me on stream real quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do this. I'm have you have you muted me on stream? No. Mute me on stream real quick. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 What an engine setup. Yeah, engine setup. Um, wait, wait, did, did you guys see? Did you listen? Did I forget to mute? Did you hear the token? <laughs> That's unfortunate. They heard the token. Oh the no. And they're gonna dox us. Yes. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. It's over for us. Just regenerate your IP real quick, you know. <clears throat> Contact restart your my router as we speak. Do you have to restart your router? That's how you, that's how you restart your. Yeah, I mean, I if do you have a static IP? I have a static IP at my home, and uh, no, no, I would never. Okay. Okay. Keyboard lip readers in chat. <laughs> <laughs> so system CTL. Start engine, is that the command? I don't know. Um, error code. Probably because it can't bind. Have you ever thought about that? Oh, just do a docker compose skill or something. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Yeah, where's the docker compose file that you're using? It's in is it just the one in... Yeah, so I'm control. Are you running the front end as well? No. The docker compose is not on the front end. On the, the back end and the database and the loader. Oh, we got a database now. Yeah. Nice. Is it my uh, SQL light or my SQL? My SQL. I mean, we're running it in Docker, so it doesn't make much sense to have. Okay. Um, out of interest. SQLite. Why do we have a um? 
you know. In case the backend goes down again, we can't just keep a list of of past transactions in an array because then they can be resent. Someone can just resend the same transaction if we yeah. just keep okay. it. Yeah. Okay. That's true. All right. Um. Let me Docker compose. Up. Um. I've mod modified the ports. I'm also modifying the port of the logger. Is that going to be a problem for you? No. Because if you got no. No. You're not going to be able to push from the uh, VPS though, because it doesn't have push access. I hope you're doing this locally. Or you can also be just to get that's that's something you can do. Just create a private access token or a deploy. You know what? A deploy key would make would make sense here. A deploy key would make sense here. But I, I'm gonna leak that if you make a deploy key, so don't <laughs> don't make it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um is um But okay, but you, your log code points to port 81 right now, right? I, I can change it. Yeah, you're 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 gonna Probably want to change that. I have it on port 8081. Port 81? 8081. <laughs> 8081. Yeah. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me... um. <laughs> Hold on, how do you, how do you dock a composer in the background? Is it just dash D? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, sick. All right. It's now up. Let me see if I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, brother. Okay. Um... It's fine. It's fine. Um, let me check if Nginx is running. Nginx is running. I just need to modify the config real quick. No, no. <laughs> well, can you stop laughing? Can Sorry. you stop laughing? It's, it's very sus. It's kind <laughs> of funny though. I know. It's um. It's fine though. It's fine. We, we saved. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Nginx config. Um. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna copy the config that I have for um. Now we need a second, <laughs> the second screen to be streamed. <laughs> <Hey, hey, just laughs> no, not the second screen. No. This wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. Plus, I use a VPN, so. I have a, I have a VPN currently running in Germany. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, Germany is... It's a good region. It's a good region. True. 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 Mm -hmm. It's apparently really cheap to get... um. Like VPS is there. Yeah, you can also, like most major VPN companies offer, offer that as a region. And you can also make your own VPN with like a VPS. Do you think Staz is going to clip this whole segment? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi, YouTube. Okay. You know what? I don't really care. I, I, I don't really care. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I have one. Um, okay, we have one server listening port eighty. Okay, and then um, yeah, I don't give a shit about any of this. But I haven't been doing anything. I've just been pitching from. Okay, no. it's it's fine. It's fine. There, there's no there's no problem. 
the okay. crisis has been avoided. Okay, um, so port 80, subnautica.vettle.ai, um, I'm just gonna reverse proxy that to... No, I don't understand what you're saying, just give me the ports. Give me the ports. Yeah, I'm just speaking aloud as I'm doing it, to be honest with you. Um, okay, okay. And then, let me... Ugh, fuck all this PHP nonsense. Um, okay, and then, can I just copy and paste this, please? Just copy and paste. Make my life a lot easier. Yes! No. Okay, fuck it, okay. Um, so we got port 8018 for this. And then, make a new server. Listen, put 80. Um, so I'm just gonna name. Let's use uh, logger.subnautica.vettle.ai. Yeah? Okay. And then that's gonna go to port 8081. Okay. All right. Um, pseudo system CTL. Um, give me a second. Pseudo system CTL. Um, restarts nginx. Pseudo system CTL status nginx. Okay, it seems to be running. All right. Uh, did, Let's see push, how badly I fucked you, it up. Can you push the Docker config? I. Uh, the Docker compose. I'm sorry. just. Docker I'm just editing it on the, the Nginx. I mean on the Azure server. Okay, then then how do you, how do you push it then? I just Docker compose up. What do you mean? What are you saying? Wait, you said you had to change Docker compose. <clears throat> yes. Did, okay, and I'm saying I did. push that to GitHub. Okay, you, what uh, I can, you also can. You change it, not me. What do you mean? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll push it. Okay. Thank um, you. I, I I don't know what to change it to because I was not paying attention. That's fine. Oh, we're not signed in on anything here, are we? I can't, I can't commit from. Yeah, that, that, that's the point. That's what I was saying. Oh, fuck. That's what I was saying. Oh, whatever. I'll just uh, edit it into my local... <clears throat> my local editor. Okay. Um, I have no idea if what I did worked. Would you like to test it? Can you test it? Hmm? Can you test it? Um... Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, did you push? You didn't push, did you? I don't need to push it. It's already live. Yeah, but uh, okay, fair, fair. Uh, what I was saying was, all right, sure, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Sorry, I'm a bit flabbergasted at the moment. No, I understand. I understand. I understand. All right. I don't know what. What am I supposed to be doing? The logger. So needy. To be so needy. Probably... <laughs> What's your problem? What? Right, um, are you, are I will push you, it you, as well. How are you asking me that? <laughs> how are you asking me that? Okay. I have pushed it. There you go. All right. Uh, accept. What am I testing? The logger? Yes. Um. Why? Confirm. It's... It's not working. Let me see why. Um, I I don't see logs. What?
There's no, it's What's not, it's, it's not, there's no, there's no error, but it also isn't logging. Yeah, so. Oh, what the fuck is this problem? Oh, never mind. Uh, error. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. What's wh where am I? I have an SSL error. Oh. I have an SSL error. And Hold I also on. have to point to logger.vettle.ai. Is that where I have to point? No, it's logger.subnautica.vettle.ai. But but it, um, it wants me to purchase the advanced certificate manager because, like, I don't have enough proxied host names. I can't. I can't do subdomains of subdomains. Like, what? What the fuck's the problem here? I, okay, let me just change the fucking. Um, okay. Let's use. Um, logger dash subnautica, you know. All right. Let's see if that works. Okay, that means I also need to change the nginx config. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I just disconnected from the SSH. Um. Give me a second. Wait, give me a second too. Okay, that might work. Okay, that does indeed work, right. as far as I can tell. I'm testing right now. Thank you. There's uh, no logs. And let's see what error appears. Um, error name not resolved. Logger.subnautica.battle.ai. Name not It's logger dash subnautica. Bruh. Because I, my Cloudflare subscription does, which is the free tier, doesn't, doesn't include subdomains or subdomains. <laughs> okay. It's too far. I think it worked. Yeah, there's a, there's a log. It works. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, engine setup. This also means it's not accessible from the IP directly anymore, um, which is a neat. It's fine. One thing. Oh wait, one second. Um, the logger yeah. was working on on port eighty one locally, right? What port is it running on right now? Is it still eighty one? Uh, eighty eighty one. Eighty eighty one. Because the um the extension backend server still accesses it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it will be able to. Um, and what I'm gonna do is make that no longer accessible from, or make port port eighty one no longer accessible from the outside world. 